What's up out there? Welcome back to some more Melver Idol Hardcore Adventure Mode. In the last video, I think we were starting to work on alt magic. And I got it into like the 70s or something like that. <clears throat> I let it run and we now have level 85. And that means I can start equipping God Gear dun or God Dungeon Gear. So um, we'll be ready to go for that one. It needs to be level 85 specifically. And then yeah, after that, I mean, I, I could have let this run a little bit longer, but I just let it sit. Um, I think we did what? Just learning to item alchemy one, potentially item alchemy two, but I think I skipped over to like, um, maybe rags. No, I skipped that one. Uh, blessed offering. I know I did rags to riches two. I know I did cause you get random gems and item alchemy three, which I just mined up a bunch of mithril real fast and let it run against that. Cause that was super easy. I don't really care about making money here. I just wanted it for the XP. So I kind of bounced my way through that, got up to level 85 and then stopped. <clears throat> so this guy's not been in combat for magic at all. And I think that's how I did my, probably my hardcore and maybe my adventure account also. So we are now ready for the God dungeon gear on the magic side. Uh, let's see. Through the day, I let some fletching run. I think I was level three or something like that. I worked this up. I used just plain old arrow shafts until I got to level 10 because once you get to level 10, you can start doing topaz bolts. And from there I did, I just skipped through all the different bolts. I went from topaz to sapphire to ruby to emerald. I did a few diamond ones, which I kind of regret doing because that loses. I lost my diamonds for it. No big deal. We'll get some diamond lux out of this anyway, but I skipped through there nonetheless, and I really didn't want to. I don't feel like crafting some of this other crap up here. I'm thinking to finish this off, I might get a bunch of redwoods and just let this burn. You know, get 50,000 redwoods or something, because they go fast. Maybe redwoods and magic, because you don't lose... You can woodcut so quickly in this game mode. I could probably have both these built up and then just use these two to level up from 92 to 100. Um, it's inefficient. They're not that great of XP, but I don't feel like making, I don't feel like cutting the wood, mining up this stuff, making this, you know what I mean? Like these are really good XP, but you got to have so many more ingredients for it. Um, I might let this stuff run in the background, just gather up some wood for it, let it run here and there. Um, it'll take a little bit longer, but I think I'm okay with that. It, it goes pretty quick anyway. I'll put all my XP bonuses on and see where that takes us. Um, I did a little bit of rune crafting. And I know this is up a level or two, but again, this one's really slow. I don't care about any of this higher tier stuff. None of it matters. I don't want to use any of it. So I'm going to be getting there on standard runes and stuff. So we can I get there when we get there. Herblore, I have not done anything with, and I need to really let this one go. Um, probably let it go on Herblore potions for a while. Uh, this is how I typically level up this for a long way anyway. There's some decent amount of pigtail in here, so... Maybe get that done. Uh, maybe work on some more elemental potions. Um, Generous Harvest, I guess I could do. It's going to be the best XP. Although, once we hit 85 and can do Diamond Lux, we'll do that. But I really need to work on this one a lot, too. Summoning is just horribly slow. Just horrendously slow. It just doesn't move. Like, if I go create tablets, it just doesn't register hardly at all. Um, I really need to be creating these tablets here. And going into combat with them. So, kind of working on that. Uh, oh, I got uh, cooking up to level 99. I did a bunch of cave fish for a little while. And then I did some of these. I think I did apple pies into strawberry cakes. And left it at that. And then I, it hit level 99 and I was done. So, I quit. Um, I'm kicking around the idea of... You don't get as much healing out of these raw magic fish. But you don't have to cook them. Um, then again, I can get up, get a bunch of whales and let that cook overnight or something. I really need to get up some raw skeleton fish and get my pair points up because now that's holding me back. So I might let this run tonight and do, um, pair points. So many things to do. And I did want to get back in combat. So once I got fletching up to a certain point and... I don't remember if I worked on crafting or not, but once I got all this stuff down here up to basically what you see now, I started looking at getting back into combat, and I think my range was like level 25, 26, something like that. It wasn't very far. So, 
I let this thing run all day today, pretty much. I've, I've thieved up a couple of crossbows. I didn't want to craft them. I didn't feel like making all that stuff. But I did uh, do crafting and go through the various, um, let's see, I start off with hard leather gear. Then I went through the green dragon hide, the blue, and the red. Of course, you can't buy the black, so I don't have that to equip just yet. Um, but I've just kind of let this spin run in the background and we're level 81 now about to hit level 82 Once I hit level 85, I'm, I'm looking to skip gear. So basically I put on well First and foremost, we're doing hard slayer tasks. So I'm completing these and trying to get the slayer gear So I'm working on that aspect and I'm also working on ranged I've been trying to key these guys into anything that's magical so I've been working on that, trying to level this up as quickly as possible. And I threw on this fire making skill cape because it's global XP. I don't know that it's going to make that much of a difference, but I figured any little bit's going to help. I was running the, um, the other thing for a while. The, what is this? This thing, the fire cape. I was running that for the damage reduction, but I was like, you know, this is just hard task. I could throw that on there and let it go. Yeah, I know the amulet of looting. But I just don't feel like dealing with it. And I don't really have anything else to put in there just yet. So we're going to start running into some, some real issues real fast. I would normally be trying to get the Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs. And I don't know if I'm going to go for that one or not. Um, we're also running up against Dungeon Grind, Slayer Grind, things like that. So a lot of this is going to get really difficult. Or time crunch sensitive. Um... Because I got to burn through all these Slayer tasks. Like I am currently on, I need five more of these for the Strong Kit. And then I need 30 Slayer tasks here for the Elite. And then 40 for the Master. And that's going to take a while. to. And plus, they're a million apiece. You know what I mean? So that's a lot of grind there. Uh, we're going to have to grind out these weapons in here. I definitely know I need these weapons here. I'm unsure of the stuff that comes out of this. Here, but all of this hinges on gathering a bunch of stuff from the God Dungeon. So we're going to need a ton of things from there. Um, ten rings, ten gauntlets. And I think the gauntlets are far easier than the rings. I, I may even just skip these skeletals altogether and just work on these three and the dark waters. I don't know. But we're going to have to clear into the mist. So... I think I'm going to skip over... The volcano and over the um, infernal stronghold. I think I'm gonna probably stick, skip the rest of these dungeons. I may not even work on pets. I'm not sure, but like I would typically go in here and look for the ancient stuff. I think I'm gonna skip all that. Like the ancient shield, you need a bunch of dragon bones. I think I'm gonna skip through all that and skip this plate. I'll jump right into the air god dungeon because once my ranged guy's level 85, I can start equipping that gear, and I've got a couple of pieces. And then once he gears up the mage, we can go into the water god dungeon. And then the mage can go in here and gear up the uh, melee character. The thing that I'm going to be missing... Well, I could try to get 100 clears out of the volcano, which wouldn't be that hard, necessarily. But then we need to get this thing opened up and clear this thing 10 times. But then we still would have to go grind out the highlands for, you know, the dragon claw and the ancient claw and all that. I don't know that I feel like messing with that weapon. I, I might just skip right over into the Emboras, I think. I don't know. It, we're getting crunched for time. It's, you know, we've got, what, 12 days in the month left or something like that. There's not very much. And there's a lot of grinding left to go. So I think I'm going to focus as much on combat and getting all these to level 99 as quickly as possible. Uh, so I'll be working on prayer points overnight. Um, working on the God Dungeons, maybe I'll start that tomorrow, because this will be at level 85, uh, hopefully. Yeah, we're blazing along, so I'm going to cut this off tonight at level 85, and then I'm going to start working on the God Dungeon with the melee gear, get that built up, and then, you know, keep going from there. Just let the dominoes fall. All we really need is, we need to clear out the Air God Dungeon, the Water God Dungeon, and the Earth God Dungeon. And by clear out, I mean... We need full sets of gear out of them for the armor. Um, and we're going to need all of the amulets and rings that we can. One amulet from each and um, all of the rings. Ten rings from each. 
when 10 gauntlets for me. So we're going to have to spend a lot of time in these three. Fire God Dungeon, I think I can just clear once and be done. As long as that gets one clear, we're good. I don't really care about all the gear that comes out of it. Maybe get one of the rings, hopefully, and the amulet. That would help the melee character out, the melee side of things. So I might work on that. And then I'm going to be pushing to get through into the mist as quickly as possible. So that's going to kind of be how this goes is going to dictate this. I'm hoping to at least be through into the mist. Now, the unfortunate side of that is we're not going to have the Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs. We're probably not going to have a lot of these um, amulets and stuff. Like, I, I really need to work on these amulets of defense but on the flip side and then we well, of course then we also have to run through um what did i say this was here 40 30 of these and 40 of these so there's all these plus all the dungeon grind and everything which doesn't count towards the slayer stuff we're gonna have to have full max slayer gear i'd like to have a some extra pieces so that we can equip Three, yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be a, a big grind. Still don't have the Necromancer Bottoms or Robes. We're going to have to work on that. So there's a lot of Slayer coin that's going to come into this, which is going to start building up quickly here. Um, but there's so many things to do going forward. Uh, what was I going to look at up here? I saw something pop up. Cooking Upgrade 2. Auto Swap Food. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to need that. So we'll buy that one. And... Yeah, I gotta beat the Fire God Dungeon and get some money up. May have to do some thieving in there because I'm gonna, I might want some bank slots or something. May have to just get rid of some stuff. I feel like I've got some of these amulets of torture and stuff. I've got a few of the components. I just really need to work on more. But yeah, I don't know. This is, this, this is kind of getting interesting because it's coming down to the wire. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of stuff to go. Of course, I could burn through a lot of this stuff too. Um, Actually, what I should do is get, if this gets to level five reasonably early tonight, you know, in the next hour or two, I might work up some octopus tablets and whatever else. That way I can use, do I have any synergies with those? No, nothing unlocked yet. So let that thing go overnight, you know, get up a bunch of those. Cause I think those give you what, um, 3% chance to gain an additional resource. So Having those on will up uh, will keep leveling up my summoning. I do have the centaur ones on, so that's a little bit. But man, this summoning is horribly slow, horribly slow. So I don't know. I've kind of been sort of spending some of this mastery XP, but I kind of feel like it's pointless if you run this long enough. These fill out fast, so I haven't been too concerned with it. Um, so that's kind of about it. We've got. Magic to level 85, so that one's good to go. Uh, ranged is headed to level 85, and once I get there, I have the helmet and boots to put on. Um, I just need level 85. That's going to add a lot of damage reduction. That means I can go in and start tearing up more stuff. Uh, maybe make these Slayer tasks a little quicker. Maybe. I don't know, because I'm running these shitty feet and hard leather boots. Uh, let's see. After that, it's going to be working on the melee guy, and... I'm just gearing up in the dungeons, I guess. Grind those out. It'll be interesting to see how fast these dungeons go because and may have to keep an eye on them too. I'm also going to have to get some food together because I've got these. Um, I also do have some cave fish I can use that I farmed up. 3,300 health. But I'm going to have to stop and get some um, whales at some point. Perfect, Cook some perfect whales up. You know, got a few things to do there. Actually, I better make sure that perfect cooking is enabled. And that's kind of about it where we're at right now. So, probably check back in. I don't know if we'll check back in tomorrow. I'm going to be doing another video for Hardcore tomorrow or Wednesday, one of the two. So, depending on how things go, might be another day or two. Then we'll have another video for this. Uh, that will do it for this one, though. And we will catch you on the next one. Take care.